Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and apparently we have another attack going on here. Just logged back into the game, so let's deal with these dudes first. Whoop. Here we go. Reload. Shotgun's definitely the weapon to use against these guys. Hello. I'm shooting at you. There you go. Look at me when I shoot you with a shotgun. You're not dead yet. There you know you are. Another one right here. Hey, cut that out. Okay, that takes care of those guys. So, welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, I am back from my trip, and hopefully this will be, that will have been the last trip that I'll have to go on um, till October. Well, at least a long trip. It's possible I might have a couple of one or two day trips, but hopefully no more week long trips. So that way we can kind of get back into a normal schedule here. So looking forward to that for sure. Um, all right. So in the, the last episode, we were looking for an interceptor and I had this echo locator. When I used it on the planet that we were on, it wasn't, it, it wasn't doing anything for us. Um, so why don't we, first of all, ch recharge our uh, radiation protection here and let's take a look at our settlement here and see if there's anything we need to do excuse me make policy decision tax antimatter consumption more productivity minus two citizen happiness do not tax uh, okay hold on a second So far, our citizens are 24% happy, but we are operating at quite the deficit here. I think we can probably afford to bring them down to 22% happiness for the moment in order to reduce the debt. Um, well, at least I hope we can. Uh, so let's make a policy decision here. Uh, we're going to do this one here. Settlement happy decre uh, happiness decrease. So hopefully something else will come up that we can do something about that. Is there any... Authorize the mission. Okay, a small group of citizens seek permission to begin an expedition. They want to make the maps of the surrounding areas so that in time we may safely expand our into other fertile and productive lands. Uh... Uh... I... Yeah, okay, here's the thing. This might not be the right time to do this. But we just made them 2% less happy, so they might become even more unhappy if we deny the request. Uh All right, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and let them do it. Okay, current debt, productivity. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of these settlement features that are negative. I don't think we can do anything about the radioactive stuff. Leaking pipes increases maintenance costs. How do I deal with that? I don't know. I probably, I don't think I can do anything about it until we have more decisions that we can do. Okay, well, I think that's as good as it's going to get for the moment. So what we want to do is we want to take off into space and find another um, aberrant, I guess, planet and try the echolocator. Or maybe we don't need to actually find the, the planet yet. So supply materials, two quantum computers. Marketplace, final fit out, 0% complete. Oh, I didn't know we needed to do that. 
Okay, can we make a couple of quantum computers? Um, that is... These guys. We need a couple of microprocessors and some chromatic metal. Is our freighter in the sky? Let's get our freighter in the sky here. Okay. Now, let's go to the freighter and let's go to... Um, crafting. Do we have any quantum computers in here? Yes, we do. We have one. Okay, so let's move that to our inventory. And then we can probably... We needed some microprocessors too, but we should be able to craft it now. Yeah, we'll craft the second one of those. Okay. Okay, so now if we look at this. It's back on track. But we're looking at two hours before this thing is done. Two real-time hours. So... You know what, though? Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. So it did... It looks like it did complete the first... The first phase of that. And then it got into the second phase where we needed to provide it more quantum computers. Because none of the, that structure stuff was there before. So we just have to keep an eye on that. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Let's hop into our ship here. Head on up into space. And let's see, where is our freighter? It's right here. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do the usual with our fleet next. See what they brought back and get them back out into space. You know, I need to take this uh, ship over and sell it, too. Why don't we actually do that next? Okay, looks like we need to repair these two things. If we just teleport, though, to the station, the sh that ship should come with us, I think. So then we're not wasting resources on repairing that stuff. Okay, so since we're here, let's do the fleet the fleet stuff first. So as usual, we'll play some tunes. We'll go through this fairly quickly. If you want to read the logs, pause the screen, and let's see what we get.
All right, guys, we got the frigates all taken care of and sent back out. Uh, let's go ahead now and go into here. And let's just see if we can do something with this right now. Locator failed, no harm needs detected. Okay, so we probably have to go to, I'm guessing, we have to go to another aberrant system. I think it's called. Oh, right. We were gonna. We were actually gonna go sell that ship. Let's do that next. I forgot that that was the next thing on the agenda. Let's go do it. A little bit of money. You know what? I don't think we've actually been to the space station in this system yet because it's not showing up on the on the uh, terminus. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the galaxy map. And we're going to start looking around for... Uh, or no, dissonance system. That's what we're looking for. Uh, yeah, that's not far away at all. So let's go there. We have a message coming in. Data injection sequence received, source unknown. Well, I got your message. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation? Everything's not real? It feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. And because it, I've been thinking about that. If the problems of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes? I'll bet we have years before we die. Uh, all right, what do you plan to do? I've been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet, even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us, they transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think, anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse after all. All right, well, uh, we'll see you later then, buddy. Goodbye. I say goodbye telling Apollo that I'm on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. Ooh, it's on, man. We speak of the memories we have shared, though we d did not know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say that they are proud to have worked with me. Oh, that's nice. Goodbye, friend. Okay. So let's uh let's head to the space station first. Uh oh, we got more glyphs. Nice. I haven't come across another traveler in a while. So apparently we get glyphs in other ways too. It says now I have ten out of sixteen. This way, yeah. Ah, oh, shoot! You know what? I forgot to check the multi tool at that other station we were just at. Um, our freighter's still over there, so we could we could go back to the freighter to check it. But let's check this one. C class. Okay. It's a C class fighter. Uh, those still look almost exactly the same. Hmm. They're both C class. Okay, so can I fire this thing off here? Nice, okay. Harmonic echo detected. Let's 
Go see what we got here. Looks like we have a storm going on here. hot here and then we have to pick up all this harmonic scrap stuff as I recall harmonic interface suspicious pack there's a multi-tool Harmonically sealed. Locate interface to break seal. Okay. That's a cool looking multi tool. Look at that thing. Our shells consumed by fire, our minds purged by betrayal, banished to the glass beneath, forgotten by creation. But no longer we are given life, as Kazit gives life to themselves. We shall create ourselves in our own image. The terminal repeats this message endlessly, a loop chanted out across its circuits. A strange interface, uh, interface glows with a familiar sequence of glyphs. Input override glyphs, scan memory registers. Um, input override glyphs? Do I know what the override glyphs are? Uh, I have no idea. Let's do that one, this one, and this one. Harmony? Okay. Error lockdown active. Scan memory registers. Oh, so this tells us... Okay, so this tells us what the glyphs are. I'm going to have to write this down. Hold on. Okay, so 18 minus 5 is 13. Two plus seven is nine, and ten plus five is fifteen. Okay, access main interface. Input override glyphs. So we need thirteen. Remove glyph. Wait, what? Oh, right. Okay. Thirteen. Nine. And fifteen. Compliance. Access granted. Harmony awaits you. Lift the lockdown. The terminal buzzes discordant, but its circuits do appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp has been lifted. With the lockdown lifted, the terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jetpack technology, a fusion of Sentinel and something else, something familiar and yet distant. Arion Turbojet, an exclusive exosuit appearance override. Oh. Warning, do not unseal Pugnam containment chamber without protective gear. Transform the appearance of your exosuit at an appearance modifier. Cool, okay. Um, so now we should be able to see what this is. Wait, it still says it's harmonically sealed. Didn't I just lift the lockdown? What the hell, man? This terminal has ceased its digital way, and I am permitted to access the camp's systems. Deactivate multi tool seal. There we go. Okay. Accord. Harmonic seal deactivated. All right, now let's see what we got. A light scoop. Conceptual polygon compressor. Whoops. Nope. Wrong button. Uh, well, it's a C-class, which sucks, but... Um, let's just take it anyway, because it's kind of unique. Oh, wait. What is that? Hijacked laser. Repurposed high-energy beam. 
This multi-tool is made with material and methods known to no conventional manufacturer. It's core, uh, un it's core a unfathomable array of impossible optics and glassy foam. Nonetheless, there's a layer of recognizable technology. It shows signs of having been tampered with by an unknown craftsman who has repurposed its scanner array into a high-powered mining laser. Powered by carbon-based elements. Fire the beam. Okay. So, um, I mean, we're going to take it just because it's unique. But it certainly isn't as good as what we, we currently have. Hijacked laser. Okay. We might have to try the hi hijacked laser, though. Uh, now it's cold. Let's remove our radiation protection. And we'll put our cold protection on, which I think is the stuff here. Yeah. That should be good enough. Technology recharge. Okay, now let's go back over here again. Locate dissonance spikes. Dissonance spike located. I believe that's the ship that we need to go to. Okay, cool. Now what we want to do is we want to go here. We have to get something from this thing, I think, don't we? An autophage. Remove ten walker brains. Uh, okay. Forty-one, forty-three, forty-seven, fifty-three, sixty-one, seventy-one. Yeah, blah 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 blah. Too many many numbers. Too many 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 numbers. Feed loss circuit seventy-one antiladium. The fifth. Leave. Extreme night temperature detected. Okay, so. Dang, man, 10 walker brains and an exosuit expansion unit. Nice. What is this? Oh, shoot. That's not what I meant to do. Here, I don't want this stuff, though. I accidentally melted that one thingy. Okay, so now... Incoming storm. We have a firestorm. All right, well, let's go ahead and fly to... the wait where did it go didn't we get okay hold on a second I'm confused what happened to the spike thingy I couldn't I can't see it on my compass anymore Zoom tight. Okay, now I see it. Let's go fly over there. So even if this is like a, a crappy class C interceptor, we're still gonna make a crap ton of money off of it. Uh yeah, this way. Hard to see. This is called a reborn.
complete salvage operations to purge Sentinel presence. Oh, it's class A. Uh, we need a harmonic brain. Hyaline brain. I don't know where we got that, but apparently we have it. Harmonic brain. Complete sound. Okay. So, I think, do we talk to this thingy over here? Inverted mirror. Defy deference. Feed loss circuits. The eighth. Okay. What did that do for us? Did it give us our harmonic brain? I'm like so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. Uh, can we make a harmonic brain? Okay, how the hell do we get a harmonic brain? Let's look at this again. Um, the central processing unit of a Sentinel interceptor ship. The circuitry writhes microscopically, constantly rearranging itself as it scans for anomalies. Okay, so somewhere along the lines we picked that thing up. I don't remember doing it, but... Okay, so i got to figure out how to get a harmonic brain. Um... Do I get such a thing from killing more of the Sentinel dudes? Okay, guys, so... Um, I went back to that camp and looked around a little bit more. There was a couple more scrap heaps that I missed. Uh, but I just couldn't find anything to tell me how to get a harmonic brain. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up the episode here. I mean, I'm not, even, I'm not even sure how I have this hyaline brain. It's not like in my inventory. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, so go ahead if you want to give me a hint in the comments as to how I can come across to a harmonic brain. Please don't tell me outright how to do it, but give me a hint uh, because at this point, I don't know what to do. I, I'm completely stumped on this. If nobody gives me a hint in the comments, I'm, I'm probably just going to have to look it up because I don't know what else to do at this point. I'm, I'm completely stumped, so... Yeah, um, so with that being said, we're going to just wrap up the episode here. I'm going to put a base computer down here right next to this ship. Uh, I guess those were just some ships coming in. You know, so I don't forget where it is, of course. In fact, let's just do that right now. This planet sucks, man. The weather's terrible here. Um, we're probably going to have to call... Well, actually, do we have everything we need to make a base computer? Keep hitting the wrong button here. Uh, base computer. No, we need chromatic metal. Okay, so let's call in our freighter. There we go. Okay, now we can make the base computer. Playing base. Yada yada. Do the little fly up in the air thing that we've seen a million times. Maybe that um, icon stays in place until we salvage the ship. I don't know, so I'm not going to take a chance of losing it. Alright, so we're just going to call this um, Sentinel Ship. Okay. Okay. 
and then I'll just remove the base computer later once we have a, have a chance to claim this. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And then uh, again, if I don't get any hints from you guys in the comments, then I'm just going to have to look it up because otherwise we're, we're kind of stumped. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And I'm not sure why I just went into first person view. That's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to go here and wave goodbye to you guys. So goodbye to you guys. See ya.